we was being treated like dogs. We was, we was being treated like animals. Miguel Cruz's experience part of hours of testimony presented during an evidentiary hearing inside federal court about the lack of heat and week-long power outage at MDC Brooklyn that left inmates in dark, cold cells without any outside communication. No heat, no hot water, the food was horrible, cold food. I had my jumpsuit on, I had two pairs of socks on, I had a towel over my head. Cruz's complaints echoed during testimony from the Federal Defenders of New York, which is now suing the Federal Bureau of Prisons and Warden Herman Quay. The firm's lead attorney says she saw frost on inmates' windows during a walkthrough and says several clients didn't receive psychiatric or emergency medical care during the outage. There was literally no plan and no plan to have a plan. Councilman Jamani Williams toured MDC over the weekend and testified this afternoon. The judge did seem, you know, at least interested to find out what was happening, what I saw. MDC facility manager John Mafia also testified that the heating problem started a couple weeks before the January 27th fire. He says the damage downed the dedicated line for inmate phone and internet and says an electrical engineer will be back to permanently fix the fire damage, which could take up to a year. Union President Anthony Sannon testified that there were heating and electricity issues prior to the fire, which he says he brought to management's attention, but just was never satisfied with their response. And we should also mention uh, that inmates were placed on lockdown for a significant period of time uh, because one of the elevators was not working. So that just added a whole other layer to the problems. The Department of Justice says that it is now going to work with the Bureau of Prisons to figure out what exactly went wrong and how they can prevent it.